This is the Narcissus Project, an Arduino project that sought to design and build an object that would follow someone around a room by watching them with its decorative eyeballs. Motion is sensed through detectors in the base of a flower box, and the Narcissus flowers above rotate to track that motion. Hi, I'm Maggie Sullivan. I'm a senior physics and English major at Loyola University, Maryland, and this is my project for Experimental Methods 1, the Narcissus Project. The tracking eyeballs are mounted in paper daffodils, chosen specifically because they are of the Narcissus family. Narcissus being, of course, the figure in Greek mythology who falls in love with his own reflection, so he's a very observational sort of character. All of the paper flowers are made out of crepe paper. They're hot glued onto strong wire and then wrapped with floral tape. So the crepe paper is cut with a Cricut. I'm using files provided to me by a book I checked out from the local library. The Cricut Maker is a tool available for use in the Loyola Notre Dame Library. It can cut materials like paper, fabric, and vinyl to dimensions up to 13 by 13 inches. This tool is useful for cutting crepe paper because that material tends to stretch. The machine uses a rotary blade so it doesn't drag the paper out of shape. The flowers are mounted on Lego Technic gears, which are in turn mounted into a Lego gear surface and then onto the stepper motor. Um, so you can see that there's the stepper motor working in the middle and then the flowers mounted on gears outside. They rotate like so. The box setup is connecting four PIRs, so passive infrared sensors, to a stepper motor. Can so, you point them out? Yes, so the PIRs are mounted in here. We've got blinders on them because they've got a very wide range of vision. Hold on, I'm zooming in. Okay. okay. Yeah, wide range of vision, so we use the blinders to make sure um, there's not too much noise happening. Wide range means 140 degrees, right? I think, honestly, I measured 180. When motion is detected, the Arduino will interpret that signal. I gotta stop moving. Very talkative today. The Arduino will interpret the signal and then send a, an instruction to the stepper motor to rotate the flowers to meet at that position. So you can see I wave my hand here. We're working with clockwise, or sorry, counterclockwise direction. But as you can see, the flowers do turn to face my hand. Deep within the spaghetti, there's a project. All right, so we have PIRs mounted on the sides. They send signals, digital sync signals into the Arduino, which then sends digital signals to the driver located right here. So the driver's gonna take that and send information to our motor, which comes off with the top of the kit. So we're using the A4988 driver and then a NEMA 17 stepper motor. So the Arduino can provide five volts to the stepper motor driver and to the PIRs, but the stepper motor itself to function needs quite a lot more than that. So we have a power uh, source here with the green, and that gives us about eight volts that's necessary to run the motor. 